Today, we're talking about a new carbon plated shoe, the Skechers Performance Speed Elite. Sixteen point six nine miles total for the day, about eight minutes, twenty two seconds per mile, and about one hundred and fifty two beats per minute for my run commute to and from work, mixing in some tempo paces in there for a total of five times ten minute intervals with about three minutes rest in between. A perfect time to take out the Skechers Performance Speed Elite for its first run. Now, before I get into my detailed thoughts about this shoe, I do wanna go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I purchased with my own money. No one sent it to me. No one's paying me to make this video and no one's paying me to wear the shoe. Uh, this is just a shoe that I really have been eager to pick up. Uh, but in either event, no one's going to get a chance to preview any of this footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. And now with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about the Skechers performance. Speed Elite. This is a shoe that I've been waiting for for a very long time, ever since some of the early kind of preview versions of it were announced and videos started popping out. Uh, and it was a shoe that I had on pre-order from Roadrunner Sports for a really long time and the dates kept pushing further back. So I had, was really worried that at a certain point, this was gonna start becoming vaporware and we weren't ever gonna really see the shoe, but finally it's here, I've got it in hand, and boy, it is one of the lightest shoes that I've ever held. Uh, listed at 5.7 ounces for a size nine. Uh, I also wear a size nine and it feels, I don't know if it feels 5.7 ounces light, but it's ridiculously light. It's just absolutely amazing what they can do with Hyperburst. It's a four millimeter heel drop shoe, uh, intended I think to be a marathon racer, but I'm not sure if it quite does it for me. The Hyperburst and the carbon fiber plate had me so excited. I ran in the Go Run Ride 8 at the end of last year, beginning of this year, and that was just a really lively, light shoe to run in, and I was really enjoying a Hyperburst and so excited for it. And the Hyperburst here, when I'm feeling it, it's amazingly soft and squishy, so I was really stoked, especially with the carbon fiber plate. I thought it would provide that perfect one-two punch in terms of what a marathon shoe could be, in terms of really soft to absorb all the impact from all those road miles, but that carbon fiber plate pushing you back off the ground so you don't get muddled or stuck in the midsole cushion. That's not exactly what I had here. Now, in terms of the upper, Let's get to that first. This shoe is definitely a racing shoe. It looks like a racing shoe. I think the design, they absolutely nailed it, by the way. But uh, it feels like a racing shoe as well. Getting my feet into these shoes was a little bit of a challenge. There's really super thin, like spaghetti thin laces that are here. And it was hard kind of just to get everything inside and once i did everything was really super cramped in there now i've been doing a lot of traveling and putting in a lot of tempo miles lately so my feet are a little bit on the swollen side but still it felt like this material just didn't quite have enough room for me everything was very snug with this rip stop type material even though it is basically transparent um, but it was just really snug in the toe box more so on the left side than the right which may have me thinking this might be just a foot swelling issue but in either event 
there wasn't a lot of room in here. By the end of the second run that I had in it this afternoon uh, going home from work, uh, it started to feel less problematic. So I'm hoping that this will kind of mold to my foot a little bit more over the next few miles and next few runs. Um, but I think overall it's going to be snug. In terms of running with this upper, uh, this was a fun, snug, scary, fun upper to run in. Uh, the entire time it felt like everything was like sewn onto my foot kind of directly. Uh, in the back, there's just not a lot in the back in this heel cup area. There's a little bit of padding uh, that's going on back here. It never felt like my foot was slipping out, but it felt like at any moment, the shoe could just come flying off of the back of my foot. Uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if that happened, but Overall, for the entire run, it felt like it was certainly on there, but like there's just so little of it back here. It's just like a little bit kind of like, I don't know. It's like holding on literally to like a bucking Bronco and just hoping that you don't die. Uh, that's kind of what running in this thing was like. It is uh, certainly exhilarating, that's for sure. I felt like I could definitely get going on my toes and I had a lot of speed in this shoe. Uh, part of it is that the front of the shoe just seems like there isn't enough. And so it really encourages a shorter stride and a faster uh, pickup, picking your foot up off the ground a little bit faster. So your ground contact time, I think is gonna be a little bit less in terms of how little of shoe there is from kind of like the ball of your foot to the toes. Uh, and so uh, it has kind of like a rocker sensation because of that as well. I'm not sure if that's intended in there, uh, but I definitely had a little bit of feeling of kind of like a late rockers way at the end as you're getting up on your toes. That's when I started to feel like there was a little bit of extra pickup right there. The overall sensation though of running with Hyperburst and the carbon fiber plate in here is that I was firm. I'm amazed at how firm and almost hard that this shoe felt though. Uh, given how squishy like hyperburst can be. And again, I was thinking that like with this, I'd feel just super plush and comfortable all throughout, except for I would get a nice spring back from that carbon fiber plate. That's not really what I was feeling. This felt really more like a classic racing flat in terms of there just wasn't a lot there. Definitely felt like I could run fast from it, but I wasn't feeling like a push off or a spring back or any kind of snap back from the carbon fiber plate. And I didn't feel like I was getting a lot of impact absorption from the hyperburst in here. So yes, I could go fast in it. Yes, it was exciting to run in, but it wasn't kind of like, I don't know if there was just too much hype around this shoe. There was too much buildup to the shoe. I was expecting just like something a little bit more from it. I don't think that this is gonna be a marathon shoe for me. My feet are certainly not tough enough for it. I'm not even sure if I'd take this for a half marathon at this point, 10K, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to run in this shoe at 10K. 10 mile, I think I could do it as well. Half marathon, yeah, I think it'll work. But at that distance, there's a lot of other shoes that I think are pretty exciting to run in as well. And I'm not sure that this would be necessarily my first choice for racing, for preparing, doing workouts, getting ready for a 10K, getting ready for a half marathon. Oh yeah, this shoe is definitely gonna be a lot of fun uh, to reach for and to run in but I'm not sure if I can handle it for races of much longer distances, just cause I'm not feeling like the softness of that hyperburst uh, that I was able to see in previous Skechers performance shoes that I've seen. So a little bit of a letdown, but with a kind of like asterisk at the end, I, just, I think I need to figure out like, where is the best place to use this shoe? Like what scenario is it? I'm not sure that today's workout was quite it. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it, but definitely the midsole is feeling a little bit firmer than I was expecting. So those are my thoughts so far after just my first day in this Skechers Performance Speed Elite. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions down in the comments below or if you've run in it, especially if you run in it compared to like the Razor 3, for example. I'd love to hear from you guys and get your thoughts, pick your brains. After running in the shoe, I'm definitely going to be picking up the Razor 3 just to kind of have that as a comparison point. What does a hyperburst racing shoe feel like with and without the carbon fiber plate? So we'll see about that. Uh, before I go, I do want to remind you guys about the charity run for this week. This week, it's John Henry who's raising money for New York Roadrunners team for kids by running the London Marathon. Uh, I was happy to donate $70 to his fundraising efforts and I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. And I do, I, I, I said last, 
video that that was the last time I was gonna talk about last week's charity runner for the week. But since then, I did get an email from last week's charity runner for the week and I wanted to share you guys because he wanted to thank you guys specifically. And he says, wow, Team Kofuzi, I can't thank you enough for helping me get closer to my fundraising goal. I'm running in honor of my dad, Bill Lamb, who passed away suffering from MS. Prior to his passing, he raised money and awareness for MS and rode a 150 mile bike tour twice here in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm trying to honor his memory by doing this and your help is greatly appreciated. Your contribution will support groundbreaking research and life-changing services for people living with MS. Your generosity makes a big difference. Together, we're changing lives. I'm looking forward to paying it forward with Team Kofuzi and he posts his links uh, for his social media down below so you can follow his journey. And he ends with saying, thank you for making a difference. All the best, Brad. Thanks, Brad, for checking in with us. I, I, I don't do it for thank yous. I know the rest of Team Kofuzi, who is donating to the Cherry Runners of the Week, they're not doing it for thank yous, but it's always greatly appreciated to get it and to hear from you guys and to hear about what a difference we're all making when we run together as a pack. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?